When Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, Ukraine's military was largely reliant on Soviet-era weaponry. While that arsenal helped Ukraine fend off an assault on the capital of Kyiv and prevent a total rout in the early weeks of the war, billions of dollars in military assistance has since poured into the country, including more modern, Western-made weapons. Among hundreds of thousands of tons of military support are also assault rifles. In this video, I will present the top 10 best 5.56 rifles donated to Ukraine. But before we jump into the video, I would like to encourage you to leave a comment. It will increase my channel's visibility on YouTube. You can write whatever you want, a dot, slash, dash, or simply leave a tactical comment. Thanks in advance. Now, back to the video. Number 10 is the FN FNC. Produced since 1979, the FN FNC was developed as a cheaper alternative to the M16 and the first country to adopt this weapon was Indonesia, which bought almost 10,000 copies in 1982. Contrary to the direct impingement system used in the M16 family of weapons, the FN-FNC uses a gas-operated long-stroke piston system and a rotating bolt locking mechanism equipped with two locking lugs that engage corresponding recesses in the barrel extension. This solution strongly resembles that used in the Kalashnikov rifles. However, the advantage of the FN FNC is that the weapon fires a standard 556 by 45 NATO and is fed from standard NATO magazines compliant with the Stanek 4 179 standard. In March 2022, Belgium donated 5,000 FN FNC rifles to Ukraine. Number 9 is the FNF-2000. Introduced in 2001, the FNF-2000 was touted as a next-generation weapon system, with modularity being its main advantage. The rifle uses a unique ejection system, ejecting spent cartridge casings forward and to the right side of the weapon through a tube running above the barrel. This method of ejection provides for fully ambidextrous operation. That's why the FN F2000 can be used without any modifications by both right and left handed operators. However, despite its futuristic appearance, the rifle doesn't have a bolt hold open device after firing the last round, so the bolt doesn't stay back after there is no ammunition left. Also, magazines do not automatically drop out of the receiver and need to be pulled out manually. It seems like most of the FN F2000s transferred to Ukraine have been donated from Belgium. However, the exact number of these rifles is currently unclear. Number 8 is the Steyr AUG. Introduced into service in 1977, the AUG was designed around the bullpup configuration concept, in which all of the major internal working components of the action and its feed slash ejection system were concentrated to the rear of the pistol grip. The rear set placement of the internal workings allowed engineers to feature a full length barrel within a more compact overall form. While the style is notably gaining in popularity today, the bullpup configuration used in a frontline service rifle was something of a drastic departure for the time. One of the distinct features of the AUG action is its two-stage trigger system. It means when you pull the trigger halfway, it will produce semi-automatic fire. However, when you pull the trigger all the way to the rear, it will produce fully automatic fire. Up to this day, this rifle has been one of the world's most favorite assault rifles. Because of its unmistakable shape, the AUG has hit the screen in many major Hollywood productions. The exact number of these rifles transferred to Ukraine is currently unclear. Number 7 is the Colt Canada C7 and C8. The C7 carbine, introduced into service in 1984, is a modified version of the American Colt M16A1E1, produced under license by the Canadian company Diameco, now rebranded as Colt Canada. 
Ukrainian soldiers also use the C-7A1 variant, which is equipped with a Picatinny rail on the top of the receiver, so it can be easily equipped with optical sights such as the Canadian Elkin C-79 or other optics available in Ukraine. Additionally, Ukrainian special forces have also received the newer Colt Canada C-8 and C-8SFW, which stands for Special Forces Weapon. The latter is characterized by, among other things, a thick-walled barrel that is 1.6 inches longer than in the regular C-8, which allows for more intense fire in case of the rifle being used in the fire support role. Interestingly, the U.S. Marine Corps also decided on a similar solution, replacing some of their M249 saw with the M27 infantry automatic rifles based on the H&K 416. Colt Canada carbines in the C7, C7A1, C8, and C8 SFW versions have been donated to Ukraine by, among others, the Netherlands, approximately 10,000 rifles, and Canada, which has provided as many as 21,000 of them. Number 6 is the M4A1. The story of the M4 goes back to the mid-60s and the early days of the Vietnam War. The main issues the basic infantrymen faced with the M14, the standard U.S. Army infantry rifle at that time, were that it was heavy and the cartridge it fired, that is 7.62 by 51 millimeter, could not be carried in sufficient quantities. That's why it was replaced by the shorter and lighter AR-15, which fired a smaller 5.56 by 45 millimeter cartridge. A soldier carrying the AR-15, later designed as the M16, could carry twice as much ammunition as a soldier carrying the M14. Despite earlier battlefield success, once fielded in large numbers, the M16 quickly started racking up complaints. A last-minute change in propellant powder, as well as the erroneous belief that the rifle never needed cleaning, caused many jams. Although the problems were eventually sorted out and an improved version, the M16A1, was fielded in 1967, the weapon developed a reputation as being unreliable. In the mid-1980s, the A1 was replaced with the A2 variant, which featured a thicker barrel and three-round burst capability. The M4 carbine was developed by the famous Colt Company on request from the U.S. Armed Forces as a shortened version of an M16A2. It was intended as a personal defense weapon for non-infantry personnel to replace ineffective handguns and obsolete submachine guns in this role. Colt received an initial development contract in 1984, and by 1986, first XM4 carbine prototypes were delivered to the U.S. Army for initial tests. It took several more years to finalize and approve the design, and in 1994, the U.S. Department of Defense officially adopted M4 and M4A1 carbines for service. The M4 has a collapsible stock and a shorter 14.5-inch barrel, as opposed to the longer 20-inch barrel of the M16A2. That made the weapon easier to carry in tight spaces. Unlike the standard M4, the M4A1 consists of a new fire control group that replaces a three-round burst fire mode with a full automatic. Also, it has ambidextrous controls, an improved trigger, and a thicker barrel to handle the extra heat and stress of automatic fire. Many variants of the M16 and M4 rifles, like M16A2, M16A4, M4, and M4A1, have been donated to Ukraine from the United States. However, the exact number of these rifles is currently unclear. Additionally, Daniel Defense DDM-4 rifles are also present in Ukraine. However, the way how they have ended up over there is unknown. Number 5 is the FB MSBS Grot. The Grot Modular Assault Rifle System was developed by F.B. Radom and the Polish Military University of Technology as a successor to the Barrel and AKMS rifles. The first rifles for the representative units were delivered to the Polish Army in 2016. This variant, unlike the Combat variant, allows firing only blank ammunition. In turn, the first Combat MSBSs entered service in 2017. One of the main design characteristics of the MSBS rifle is its modularity. 
The modular design allows for a quick modification of the weapon depending on the needs or when one module is damaged. It can quickly be replaced with a new one. In addition, unlike barrel and AKMS rifles, GROT is fully adapted for right and left-handed users. So far, Poland has provided Ukraine with at least 10,000 GROTs. Number 4 is the Beretta ARX-160. Produced since 2008, the Beretta ARX-160 was created as part of the Italian Future Soldier Program as a successor to the Beretta AR-70-90. Interestingly, the main designer of this weapon is Ulrich Zendroser, whose CV includes the design of, among others, the Steyr AUG. The Beretta ARX-160 is a modular design that is constructed with the extensive use of polymers, even in elements such as the receiver, making the rifle very light. The weight of an unloaded weapon with a 16-inch barrel is only 3.1 kilograms. For comparison, the weight of an unloaded FB MSBS Grot equipped with a barrel of the same length is approximately 3.65 kilograms. Interestingly, Italy has also provided Ukraine with Beretta ARX-200 rifles, which are an enlarged version of the ARX-160, adapted to fire 7.62 by 51mm ammunition. The number of both rifles in Ukraine is unclear, but it can be expected that it's very low. Number 3 is the CZ Bren 2. The CZ Bren 2 was introduced in October 2015 as a successor to the earlier CZ805 Bren. It was developed taking into account the wishes of the Czech military. The company's engineers reduced the weight and greatly simplified the field strip procedure. The CZ Bren 2 stands out due to its design features that enhance performance and adaptability. The rifle offers ambidextrous controls and a reversible charging handle, making it suitable for both left- and right-handed users. It also incorporates a full-length Picatinny rail on the top of the receiver, allowing for easy optics mounting and additional accessories. Interestingly, the Bren name is derived from the Czechoslovakian ZBVZ-26 light machine gun, known as the Bren gun. The first Bren IIs appeared in the Ukrainian army in the spring of 2022. It's most prevalent in special units of the defense intelligence of Ukraine and units of the International Legion. On September 30, 2023, it was reported that the Czech Republic would transfer to Ukraine a license to produce the CZ Bren II rifles. It's known that the Ukrainian version will be called SIK. The establishment of firearm production facilities in Ukraine is considered one of the flagship projects of Ukrainian-Czech cooperation. Number 2 is the FN SCAR-L. FN Herstel designed the rifle for the U.S. Special Operations Command to compete in the SCAR competition to field the command's next service rifle, a replacement for the M4. The FN SCAR L, short for Special Operation Forces Combat Assault Rifle Light, went into initial production in June 2007 and was first fielded by the U.S. Army's 75th Ranger Regiment in April 2009. However, in June 2010, U.S. Special Operations Command announced it was canceling its acquisition of the SCAR L variant due to a lack of funding and marginal performance improvement over the M4. One of the most significant features of the SCAR is its modularity. Among the innovative features is the ability to change its barrel quickly to one of a different length, enabling it to be rapidly reconfigured to various mission requirements. Also, contrary to the AR-15 and AR-10 series of rifles, the SCAR's short-stroke gas piston allows the stock to be folded. This feature's real benefit is to dramatically reduce the gun's overall length in tight quarters or for storage. It seems like most of the FN SCAR Ls transferred to Ukraine have been donated from Belgium. However, the exact number of these rifles is currently unclear. Number 1 is the H and K416. The H and K416 was a joint effort by the United States and Germany to produce a more reliable and modern alternative to the M4 carbine. Development began in 2004. 
and Delta Force, the special ops group under the U.S. Army banner, was the first to take deliveries of the weapon. Outwardly, it looks similar to the M4, but one of the benefits of the H and K416 lies in its new gas system developed from the one used in the H and K G36. Contrary to the direct impingement system used in the M16 family of weapons, the H and K416 makes use of a proprietary short stroke gas system. It employs a piston driving and operating rod to control the function of the bolt, preventing propellant gases and the associated carbon fouling from entering the weapon's interior. Also, it reduces heat buildup along the bolt carrier group, which increases reliability. While a number of countries that use the H&K 416 have provided military aid to Ukraine, it seems that most of the rifles originate from the Netherlands. Regardless of origin, the exact number of these rifles transferred to Ukraine is currently unclear. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you next time!